Hi, welcome into my studio and on this um, short video I'm going to show you how I layer feathers and this is taken from my very in-depth three-hour Patreon art video. Hope you enjoy it. Now I'm coming in with a slightly lighter colored pencil creeping up on those highlights as I mentioned in other videos so that I'm not going too bright too soon and find out that I've gone way too bright. As long as I haven't got lots of layers underneath, I'll be able to get that, that br vibrant, bright white that's on there. Where that highlight, where the sunlight is just catching the tips of the feathers. Just glazing a bit of colour in here. And see when I squint, I need to go a bit lighter. Now just putting in those real, the real marks of feathers and if I get the marks in, if I want to soften it I can just go over it a bit, touching it with my finger, quick rub with my finger and I will come back in and refine all this a lot more. Now the paper I'm resting my hand on is glassine paper. Now if you buy pastel matte paper, and pastel matte is my preferred surface, it comes um, with glassine interleaving the sheets if you buy them in the um, pastel matte paper box. So you can use that or you can buy glassine paper from virtually all art stores or you can just use normal paper. I just find the glassine um, it's acid free pH neutral so you know it's not going to affect your drawing and uh, it's a nice slippery surface so it really doesn't smudge that pastel underneath and that's what I'm using it for to protect those under layers so I'm just speeding this section up so we can see how this develops before I start layering lighter tones on top I'm gradually going lighter and lighter all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and put this highlight area on. This is not my softest pastel, so I know I can go even lighter than this. I'm just getting the shape in first. So here's a Carbothello. It's not the white yet. It's very, very light grey. Now when you're building layers up like this you want your pencils to be quite sharp and that's why I normally use Carbothello or Pitt pastel pencils. Just because they're that little bit firmer than lots of other pencils so you can sharpen them much more easily and they go to a nice fine point. The softer pastels are obviously more prone to break in when you're sharpening them and they won't hold the pencil point um, as well after just a few strokes that the point will be going really rather quickly so that's my two favorite brands the Carbothello and the Pit
Now you can clearly see here how I'm just gradually going lighter and lighter. Pasta mat holds a lot of layers as long as you don't put too much down too quickly. So we've always got that, that uh, real great advantage of being able to layer upon layer. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. Don't need the reference so close anymore. Like I say, I'll come back and work on that later so we can start to have a look at some other areas as well. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel. It's been going well over a year or so, packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, is on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go into something else, I've got a secret Facebook group. So only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or five hundred members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well. And we've just designed a brand new companion website for it. So if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very, very difficult to navigate around, we've got this free website that comes with it. All the videos are now just a single click away. Couldn't be any easier than it is. I've also got my site, jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of tutorial videos, DVD discs and downloads on there. And if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects, I've got some of those too. I've got 900 plus on my website, wildlifeart-online.com and they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.